evening, everyone. Hello. <laughs> I am back. Welcome. Welcome back from my kitchen. I'm back from vacation. Yay. <laughs> I'm excited to see you guys this evening. And um, I'm excited to do this. I had a great idea. So I decided that um, we try it out tonight. But welcome, everybody. <laughs> Good to see each and every one of you. Come on in. I'm already sweating, if that tells you anything. Um, I checked my air conditioner and it was good. So, hey, who knows? I turned it down two more notches to 68, so we'll see if that helps. Um, who knows? Anyway. Hi, I'm Mary Ann from Made by Mary Ann. <laughs> In case y'all didn't know that. But welcome, everybody. Nice to see each and every one of you. Thanks for joining me again. Um... I saw a post this week about uh, things people can't stand while they're on a live. And one of the things was saying, um, and so. Well, so is one of the worst words that I use. So I'm gonna try to, see there it is again, so. <laughs> I'm gonna try my very best to stop saying so. So y'all call me out on it, there it is again. Y'all call me out on it tonight. That and um, all right, anyway. Let's get, anyways, another one i say again, too. Good, good evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So tonight, we, there it is again. It's just one of the words in my vocabulary, I guess. Uh, and there's a, it's hard, isn't it? Isn't it, guys? It's hard, it's hard, it's hard. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Let's see if I can get you pulled back up here. I had you just a minute ago, and then it wasn't working. So let's see. I missed all y'all. I'm glad to see you. See if I can find you here. And we'll go over what we're gonna do tonight. Aha! I found the, found the live. So now if we can just find the comments. I think I did. I think I did. All right, so uh, there I am. Here's our inspiration. This is what I wanna try to do this evening. I have made this a while back, and see how I have the bridging and the sunflowers here, and just a little bit of mesh. I had just the few of these. Hello! Well, thank you, Miss Milo, for trying to send stars. Um, you should just be able to hit that little star button next to your um, comment button there. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Nina, for telling me that my vocabulary doesn't bother you. I appreciate that. But you know what? The so word was driving me bonkers when I watched the replay. I really am going to try to curb that. Uh, but thank you. Thank you for saying that. So this is what we're going to try to do tonight. Except we're going to use some very different, uh, we're kind of trying to make it like a pumpkin thing. I had um, all of this stuff left over. Let's put it back here. Oh. Me acting like it's heavy. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I had all of that left over. I had gray mesh left over. I had the ribbon left over. So um, I decided that we try to mimic it again. What we're gonna use this evening. <laughs> I agree, Miss Wright, so poo poo on them. But hey, everybody has their own likes and loves and um, their own, you know, whatever. It is what it is. I, I can see their point. Anyway, so tonight we're gonna use, there's my sew word again. Tonight we're gonna use this gorgeous, gorgeous Deluxe Full Deco Mesh in black, which is ultra popular right now because it is Halloween. But see how it's sparkly Deluxe Full Deco Mesh? It's great for all kinds of stuff. That's what we're gonna use as our base, where the gray would be in our sunflower over here. <laughs> there you go. Uh, no, that's not the stars, Miss Milo. It's the one right next to the write a comment button. <laughs> but thank you for trying to send them. Um, and then let's see what else we have here. Here is our ribbon we're going to try to work with. Let me show you the sign first that I was inspired by. I was inspired by this sign. So we may or may not use it but I was inspired by the sign. Cause look at how cute it is. It's got the little check 
and it's just pumpkins. It doesn't say anything crazy. It just screams fall, I think. So awesome. I liked it. So that's what inspired me. And I have this absolutely beautiful, I love this ribbon. Um, I feel like I haven't done this in forever, guys, so I might be a little off my game. I have this gorgeous, gorgeous pumpkin, check, sunflowery, glittery, pretty, just amazing ribbon here. And then I have this to go with it. Just this um, Hobby Lobby shimmery, meshy mesh kind of ribbon. Not my favorite quality, but all of the rest of the ribbon I had, the orange didn't match. But see, this this orange matches perfectly, I think. Matches my fingernails too, but anyway. So that's what we're going to try to weave through for the bridging back here. See, these are the two we're going to use for the bridging. As for, here's our bow. You know, y'all, you know I have to have the bow made, guys. Here's our bow. Ta-da. A little messy right now. Y'all know it's all rolled up and ready to go. Good evening, Miss Bradley. Well, thank you, Miss LeBlanc. I'm glad to be live. I'm glad to be back from vacation. Y'all know vacation will about kill you, right? <laughs> you come back and work is going all the heck, and you know, your craft room has been screaming, Miriam, come help me, come play in me. So, I had to do that. Anyway, here's our bow. Okay, there's our bow. And here are some of the things we're going to play with. So these are, I'm pretty sure I got these at the Dollar Tree, but I may have gotten them at Hobby Lobby. I don't know. But they're just little berries. I thought we could add a few of those. I've got glue stick stuff on them. A little bit of berries. Have some of those. I have a pumpkin, of course. Of course we have a pumpkin. I have to have a pumpkin. I have some leaves. This bunch of set of leaves I bought. <laughs> this bunch of set of leaves. Yeah. Uh, these leaves I bought from Craft Outlet, and they are a great deal, and they are great quality. Look at that. And I bet you a hundred bucks that Dre from Ranch House Wreaths and More Ranch House has some awesome leaves just like this. Um, so if you can't find them at Craft Craft Outlet, try Ranch House Wreaths. All right. So these are awesome, good quality leaves, amazing. Um, and they don't, see how they're all like awesome and they're not bent and warped and you know, they look like leaves, they have a good color. Anyway, there's our leaves. Here are our Hobby Lobby sunflowers. Guys, I bought enough of these sunflowers to cover the world. I swear I did. <laughs> anyway, Hobby Lobby fall sunflowers. And my favorite fall pick so far. I love this thing. It's just like, I don't even know what you call it, but I love it. And look, it's super long, so we'll probably have to like cut it up a little bit. But that's what we're going to use to stick in our floral foam that's going on our ring board. Okay. So if you'll notice, well, thank you. Hi, Miss Iceline. Welcome. Thank you. I hope I said your name right. S Wine, maybe? S Wine? Uh, Miss Donna. We'll call you Miss Donna. Uh, so that way I don't butcher your last name. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Glad y'all like everything. <laughs> anyway, so if you'll notice, I have just um, loaded the board here um, from every other set, okay, from the top. Except I left these three right here. Here's our hanging hole. Okay, see our hanging holes? We're actually going to use our hanging holes. Okay, we're really going to use our hanging holes tonight, people. Uh, shocker, I know. Marianne never actually puts the hanging holes where they're supposed to go, but tonight we are. So here's our hanging holes. And if you'll notice, it's kind of like diagonal. All right, I'm going to pull you down and I'm going to show you because we're going to get started. And our deluxe full deck mesh. All right, guys. I always say this, but it is so true. If you get sick, hi, Carrie Marie. Welcome. <laughs> hi, 
Hi, Miss Rosencrantz. Nice to see you. Okay. Now, let's see. Am I ready? I think I am. I'm going to pull you down. I always say this. But if you get sick, close your eyes. I'll let you know when to open them back up, okay? Here we go. Gratuitous close-up. Ah. I may be a little bit too hyper for y'all this evening. <laughs> and this my workspace. Let me push it back just a little bit. Okay. All right. Whoop. No shaking, Marianne. No shaking. All right. There we go. Is it a little crooked? It might be just a little crooked. No, it might not be. There we go. How are we looking? Okay. If I pull you a little this way. Sorry about the shaking. All right. Hi, Miss Patricia. When am I planning? Oh, Carrie. I think she's going to do one Wednesday. How are we looking, everybody? Should I scoot just a little bit? I think we look good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe I'm going to scoot you just a bit this way so you're center. All right. If you close your eyes, open them. <laughs> we are rocking it. Okay. Here's our board. And here are our hanging holes for reference. Okay. All right. Let's, let me put my hair up. I am sweating. Woo. Hot flashes. Woo. <laughs> yes, Carrie Marie, everybody, Mountain Gal, our favorite Mountain Gal from Mountain Gal Creations will be live Wednesday at 7 p.m. So, y'all don't forget to uh, see her too. I love her. She She's my wreath and bestie and she does amazing things. So, for our, there's my soul word again, y'all. Y'all not calling me out on it. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Wrightson. Appreciate that. Glad you can see it. Okay. So here's our piece of floral foam cut in half. Disclaimer, if you have a foam cutter, do not, please do not destroy your foam cutter by trying to cut this green floral foam with it. You will be very mad at yourself. Okay, don't do that, not good. So <laughs> all I've done is I've just put some little pipe cleaners, I've laid it on the board, marked it, as you can tell, and put the pop cleaners where I want my, where it'll stick in the board. So see, I've marked it here. And I moved it around a little bit, which is why the other black thing's up there. But I want it to kind of go right here. So I've marked it, put my pop cleaners in, and we're ready to go. So all I'm gonna do is just stick this in the little holes and tighten it up, okay? And you kind of want to use, you don't want to use your cut side because see how my cut side's not really particularly 100% even? Love the OCD person in me. I really tried, but it's not. See how this side's perfectly flat? Try to get this side on your board as best you can. You know, it's not going to be perfect, but hey, it is what it is. So, stick your little pop cleaners in there. Attach it to the board best you can. I like to mark the holes that I mark just to, you know, be a little further OCD. Pull it down. Is that the right? And I got the pop cleaners in the wrong hole here, so that's all I'm doing is putting the pop cleaners in the right hole. And voila. Voila. Okay. And you can maneuver it too if you want it to sit a little further up. Doesn't matter. As long as it's sitting on the board the way you want it. Go ahead, pull it as close as you can without pulling it out and tighten it, okay? That's what I'm doing. I'm just tightening it, see? Giving it a few good twirls here. Ooh, and I hate the way floral foam feels. Ugh. But, hey. Okay, there we go. Now let's cut these off of here. And stick them down in there so it looks all nice and neat and doesn't hurt your door or your customer's door if you happen to be selling it. Whatever, you know. Stick it down in there. That just gives it a little extra stability as well, if you can. Or whatever. Hey, that one ain't gonna work right, but whatever. <laughs> okay, stick it on down in there. Uh -huh. 
how are my pipe cleaners attached to the phone? I have a little um, U pin, and then I just put a bunch of glue on there. Let me show you. I got. Let me show you my U pin. You don't know what that means. And then I just push it down. So let's put it back to where our there's our hanging holes. So it should kind of look something like this. Okay. Let me turn it this way for y'all so you can see what it. Here are your hanging holes. So it's gonna kind of look like that. And you can move it up a little bit if you want to. You could even put it from here to here if you'd like. No big deal. You know, you can put it wherever you want to. And if you get finished and you don't like that the hanging holes are here, you want it to be a little bit like that, move your hanging holes. You know me, I always put a hanging hole a different way. So honestly, I just use these as a reference. I might even do it that way. I might like it a little bit better that way. You never know. But for right now, here are my hanging holes and here's my floral foam. Here's what I used to attach my floral foam. I got jute all over the place. My U-pins, if I can get one out. Here are my U-pins. See, and I just took the pop cleaner and then just stuck it down in there, okay? And then I just put the pop cleaners in the board. Soup simple. Okay, and I just cut the pipe cleaner in half with, I know this is bad, but I don't ever use my bread knife. I cut my floral foam in half with a bread knife. <laughs> Again, do not use your uh, good foam cutter. If you have a foam cutter, do not use it on this floral foam. It will destroy it. Okay, here we go. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to do my favorite ruffle. Can anybody tell me what this is? It's the kerfluffle. Yay! Everybody knows Marianne does this code fluffle all the time. It's my favorite. So here's what we do. You're going to need a pen and you're going to need, you can do 15. 15 is what I did the sunflower with. So you can do 15. That's perfectly fine. But this particular piece is cut 20 inches because the um, mesh is so thick and it's so stiff. I decided to go with 20 inches so that we get a good curl in here. And you'll see why here in just a second. I want it to look good and full and, I don't know what I'm looking for, I have everything I need right here. <laughs> good and full. So 20 inches, okay? Again, you can do 15 if you'd like, but I chose 20 inches because of the thickness of the mesh. And you're gonna curl one side, and I'm gonna curl it three to four times, okay, just to get a good curl. So curl it up, put your pin in it, okay, turn it around, do the same thing, there's four, and then just scrunch up the middle, Marianne's favorite, favorite petal, or favorite way to fold mesh. And there you go, you have a pretty little curl. Ta -da! You make them even if you want. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the top. And see, I've started at the top by loading the top at the bottom, okay? I always start here, if I'm doing this uh, every other, I always start at the bottom under the hanging holes. Why, I don't know, it's just my method, okay? So at the bottom, under the hanging hole, let's put our, put our mesh in here. And you wanna load your safety, your safety pins. <laughs> load your zip ties open, okay? So there's one. I have a bunch of these made. So we're just gonna go through as I throw things and put them in here, okay? And here's why you want that curl, because we're not putting, we're not putting another piece here, and we want to cover the board. So that's why you want this curl here, so that when it all scrunches together, you have plenty of mesh and you have this pretty ruffle right here. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Is one of those zip ties near the foam in the wrong hole? It may be. Let's see. Is it maybe where I've got it black? Let's see. Uh, yes, thank you. 
Good eye. Who said that? Whomever said that, you rock. Yes, did you see what I did? I put one in the right place. Good eye. Look at you saving Marianne from ultimate embarrassment. Okay. Yeah. Looky there. All right. Woo. I think we're back on track now. Let me make sure that that one was down, up, down, up, down, up. Look at you, my people. <laughs> saving my creation from the very beginning. I love it. All righty. How many of y'all do that? Have to go back and start over. Take them all out. <laughs> we are just keep on putting your mesh in here, everybody. And you can go back and make them however you want as you go, if you want to. If you want to uncurl some of the curls as you go. Doesn't matter. They're all going to push each other together. We just want to make sure that they're the same height, really. So get them all in the middle. <laughs> Veronica, you are a very good student. Thank you for telling me. I would have been like, what is wrong with this thing? <laughs> it might not have mattered, but to my OCD, I would have noticed something was wrong and have been like, what in the world? What's wrong with this? Something looks off. And then I would have had to rip it all apart later on tonight. Start over. All right. There we go. And there we are. Here's this one. And that zip tie didn't want to fully come off. There we go. Sorry, Stell, if I hit you. <laughs> Watch out, puppy. Flying zip ties. And here. Okay. I'll get it in there. Go back and mess with it if you want to. Make it all look pretty. Squish it all together. Add some more if you'd like. No big deal. Let's go around and start from this end. See if we can't push it further together. Here's our... I've never tried this method with the deluxe school, so... You might want to open some of your curls a little bit, not make them so tight like I, did, like I have through here. Watch me play with it. Come on, Marianne. There we go. Uh, we are going to do some bridging. We're just kind of making a, making a wreath. <laughs> I don't know really what you'd call this. We're not making anything special, just a wreath. Doing some bridging. We're practicing for Christmas because I seem it seems to be that Christmas is when all the bridging happens. I think you know the bridging is the the way that the ribbon is on the sunflower example that I have back here. So it seems to be that Christmas is when all that good stuff happens. So that's why I decided to do it here. We're just sticking our mesh in, moving along. Another one. 
is deluxe foil, easy to work with. Well, it's really stiff. It depends on what you want to do with it. It's not um, very malleable, I will say. I guess that's a good word for it. It's very stiff um, and thick. So if you, but it's really shiny and really pretty. So if you've got something that you want to be very shiny and very pretty, then yes, Deluxe Full is awesome. But if you've got something that you need to really make a very, um, a very perfect petal with, this is not your foil. <laughs> this is not your mesh. So let's make another one, make our last one here. All right, here we go. So again, it's tw cut 20 inches, curl side up, and you're just gonna, look at my finger, that looks terrible, I'm sorry everybody. You're just gonna roll a couple times, three or four. Let's try three since we're down close to the stuff that's gonna show. There's three. Ooh. And then throw this three times to match. One, two, three. And we're gonna scrunch it all in. Put it in our zip tie here. And we're going to put our last one in. And then we can start with the fun stuff, which is putting in our goodies into our foam. Okay. Just pulling on everything and working it. We're not gonna worry about what it looks like right now because it looks like a hot mess. And it's going to for a minute till we get everything else ready to go. All right. Okay, there's our base, ladies and gentlemen. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Here's what we have so far. And yes, you can see the board in certain places, but as I said right now, you're not going to worry about that because you can always go back and move things around, make it look better, you know, move your petals in and out, open the smaller ones up. Plus, we've got a lot of ribbon we're going to put over it. So, and we got to stick a bow on there too, so don't worry about it. So here's what we have so far, and here our hanging holes so this is where this is our origin here our hanging holes are here and here is our um floral foam now what we're going to do is we are going to cut a bunch of stuff and stick it in there so i'm gonna let's see i'm just gonna try to get myself ready to go here i think that we should start with some leaves what y'all think how did I get the foam to stay on there? So will it hold its shape well then? It will, mm-hmm, it will. It will, you just gotta make it. <laughs> you just gotta make it. And see the big holes out here? We're gonna, that's not gonna look that way. See these pieces here? It will not look that way when we get done with it. So don't worry, just trust the process. I promise it's gonna look better. And if not, we can stick another piece of Oh, we can stick another piece of the Lux Fool right there and make it look fantastic. So don't worry about that right now. Show you how to fix it. Okay, so let's start with our leaves. And what we would normally do, I'm just picking some leaves off here, taking the sticker off. What we would normally do is we'd stick it in a glue pot, swirl it around, stick it in there. But because I don't really know where I want everything, I'm not gonna glue. I'm just gonna stick it in there, and then when it's done, and when I've auditioned, and I like the way the piece looks, then I'll glue it, okay? So we're just gonna start sticking pieces in, everybody. So let's stick, like I said, let's start with like, maybe this leaf here, okay? What have y'all been doing today? And I'm just gonna keep cutting 
and we're gonna keep sticking leaves just wherever you think that leaves will look good, okay? You shouldn't really have to glue either with, um, I think that's a little too long. Let's put it somewhere like this. You shouldn't really have to glue either with floral foam. Floral foam's made so that things stick in it very well and do not move, but you know, if you want that extra, extra little oomph. I don't kinda like that one being so long, so let's cut it in two here. And guys, I am not the floral whisperer, okay? That would be my fantabulous mentor, Dre. So bear with me, it might take me a minute to move everything around, get it the way I want it. I'm just sticking floral pieces in right now. <clears throat> I'm just making a base, okay? So that it looks halfway decent. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Maybe I should turn it this way a little bit so you guys can. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna cut this one down too. Let's do that. Cut them down. I'm just starting with the leaves, sticking stuff in. Hi, Miss Michelle. All right, so we're gonna stick it in there. Leave it sticking out a little bit. Stick this one like right here a little bit. It, I just, um, so, I just put, well, I'll show you again. <laughs> How is the foam on the board? All I've done is I've taken these U-pins and some um, Chanel stems, stuck them in the foam, and then stuck it on the board. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So this is a great idea if you have very few pieces of mesh left, or if you have like, you know, maybe three-fourths of a roll and you don't know what to do with it because this is 13 petals, y'all, 13 pieces of mesh. Okay, so no big deal. It's very easy, you know, it doesn't take a lot of ribbon except for maybe your bow. Let's get some flowers up here, or not flowers, but let's put them up here. Like I said, I'm not the greatest at uh, florals, but... We're going to try. Y'all can laugh at me if you want. I don't mind. I feel like you're laughing with me. Let's make the base a little bit better. I just keep throwing stuff in the floor. I kind of want it to have an all, like, leafy base here. I think y'all will see what I'm trying to do. Make the leaf, make a leafy base. If you had some picks that you really liked, you could just stick the picks here. But I didn't have any picks that I didn't have plans for. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm using that one for this project. Y'all do that too, pick things. Did that explain that well, Miss Bradley? <laughs> no, it's not a perfect arrangement. You're right, very true. Or I'm sorry, you didn't ask that, Miss Tracy. Who never asked, did that explain how I got the phone on the board? Okay, so see, we're having a Good time. There we go. Everything looks good. Ba -la -la -la. All right, let's put some in the top here. The sunflowers were easy. You just kind of stuck them in there and they worked. But and this might not work at all, guys. This might be an epic fail. But you know what? That's okay. That is okay. It is what it is, isn't it? If not, we'll tear it all apart and use it for something else, right? Sticking them in there, everybody. Nothing special. Nothing, nothing hard. Just sticking them in there. And I'm not gluing. Normally you can if you want to, but just playing around with some florals. Okay. I think that's a good, let's, let me look out of here. Yeah, that's good. It doesn't look like there's 
any kind of crazy holes. All right, let's add some leaves on the top. Let, let me find one. So here's what it looks like so far. Okay. Let me see what it looks like when we get to you. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Miss Nadia. Okay, I like it, I like it. I can see, I can see. Awesome. Okay, let's move it back around and just start sticking some more stuff in. Let's stick some leaves on the top here. We're gonna kinda stick, well, you know what? Let's wait. Let's wait till we put Put our pumpkin right in the middle and then stick around it. I think we probably should. Well, let's do some of these. I love these things, guys. <laughs> As I try to almost hit myself with it. These are my new favorite things for fall. I swear I love them. And look, they're just all in a little, see how they're all little? So you can push them up and push them down. I'm going to try to split it in half so that we don't have such a major thing here. I think that looks good. I think that looks like they're half, half and half. Yeah. Yep, yep. All right. Let's cut this quick piece off. Get off about right here. That way it has plenty of room. That piece doesn't have to be so big. And we'll kind of stick it like maybe in at a diagonal right there maybe. So it kind of sticks out. Eh, let's do it a little more to diagonal. Kind of like that. That might be a little much, but hey. I kind of like over the top people, don't y'all? <laughs> Hi, Miss Gator. Nice to see you. No, that's all right. No big deal. We haven't gotten too far yet. We're just playing, playing around. I like to do different things every now and then, so I'm glad y'all allow me to do that. You know, sometimes you get bored doing the same old thing, everybody. So you gotta kinda think outside of the box every now and then. And I'm not that great at florals, so hey, why not practice a little bit, right? Did I get that kinda in the same spot? Eh, kinda did. Let me see what, here's what we have so far. Let's put one at the bottom. Let's do another one of these. I love these little things. And I think they're half off right now. Hobby Lobby too. I might have to go back. I have like four of them, but I might have to go back and get some more. <clears throat> I know these leaves are fantastic. And I'm just separating them in two, trying to see get even numbers of wispy things on the side. Alright, let's see. How many of y'all work with florals on a regular basis? Y'all find them to be challenging or right up your alley? This one might be a little much for this part, but let's see what it looks like if I stick it in there. We're gonna leave it, because I kinda like it. Let's move that part. What do y'all think so far? Let's put our Let's get our bearings again. There's our. What do y'all think so far? Yeah? Yes, no, maybe so? Yeah, it is a different look. It's a, it's a very different look. That's what I was kind of going for, just something different. And when I did this um, sunflower over here, We'll have to clean this up. When I did the sunflower, I had very few things. I had very few, very little of that mesh left. And I thought, well, you know, you can still make a wreath with just very few materials. So it was kind of a, a mod podge of stuff. Very simple, very easy. Yeah. Well, I hope so. I have a way... Miss Bradley, I have, I kind of have what I want it to look like in my brain, but y'all know how that goes sometimes. Sometimes what you want in your brain 
Do we like that? Sometimes what you see in your brain doesn't always come out to what it should look like. I don't think I like the one in the middle. Let's take this one in the middle out. We'll use it for something else. Okay, let's move on. I think we should put our pumpkin in. Let's put our pumpkin in. And then what we'll do is we will decorate it around it. We're gonna just put our pumpkin in the middle here and I have too much stem on her. A little bit more. There we go. There we go. <laughs> here I am just singing. Just a sign in. I love these little wispy things. Okay, how about some sunflowers, ladies and gentlemen? Can't forget your sunflowers since it's in our ribbon. I get the silly sticker off that one. And we are leaving the green leaves. You know, sometimes I take the green leaves off, but we're leaving them this time. I'm just going to start sticking and bending where I think, where I mean, we're just going to stick them in there, ladies and gentlemen. No rhyme or reason. Just where I think they should go. Ooh, now I love that smoky blue stuff. Love that smoky blue. Blue is my favorite color. So if you ask anybody, I have every everything I own is blue. <laughs> blue shirts, blue car. I had a blue car. I just recently got rid of it. I don't like that one stuck to the mesh right there. Maybe. Yeah, we'll move it later. We'll leave it for now. See what happens later. Stick one right here. And again, guys, no rhyme or reason, just sticking stuff places. We might try to use the rule of three, so that way my girl Dre is not too upset with me. Okay. Kind of want it to look like it's just sitting in a patch. Sitting in a patch. Now let's put some leaves. Oh, we forgot our berries. Oh, yes. It does look good with orange. I think blue looks good with everything, though. Let's put one more sunflower right here before we move on. Back to our... Here's a sunflower I already have cut. What do you know? But then again, like I said, blue is my favorite color, so I would put blue on anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's put some leaves on top. That's too much. I'm trying to get it to where y'all can see kind of what I'm doing here. That way you're not going, gosh, Marianne, what's going on? What are you doing over there, girlfriend? <clears throat> I'm just layering leaves on top of it now. I kind of wish I had a little more green somewhere. Put a red, like here. I saw a commercial today with the Queen song, having a good time, and I can't get that stupid song out of my head now. <laughs> I don't even know the words, I've just been humming it. All right. How was your trip to Vermont? I thought that was gorgeous. On your little vacation. Yeah, little vacations are good too. I took a big vacation and I kind of wish I hadn't have been away, but 
had a great time with my family. You know, it's good to spend time with your family away from work and away from, you know, the headaches of the world. But when you come back, goodness gracious, you have to take several smoke breaks so you don't kill people. <laughs> and people forget their names and you're thinking, gosh, I thought I taught you better. All right, there we go. What y'all think about that? Are we liking it? Are we hating it? Marianne, you can do better. What are we thinking? Let's put up. Let's pick a good one here. Let's put a berry in there and see what happens. Like, maybe right here. Put a berry sticking in there. What are we thinking about that? Yeah? Kind of, sort of, not really, all right? Thanks, Miss Kelly. Hi, I didn't get to see you. How are you feeling, Miss Carrie? After everything, are you healing well? Taking care of yourself? All right, let's turn it this way, guys, so I can work on the other side. Kind of get it somewhat symmetrical. And then you guys can still see. Here's our, there's our little berry. Uh -huh. down in there. Maybe we should put a leaf in the middle. Let's speed that up a little bit. Here we go. And we'll put a leaf on top. Yeah. How are we looking there? Aha. They're kind of peeking out. I can't see any of the foam, but it doesn't mean that you guys can't. Okay. I think we're doing all right. All right, let's put something here. I think maybe we need another leaf. are gorgeous. Put a berry. Here's just a single berry. Why you are welcome, Miss Miss Kelly. I'm glad that you are. That one's just one. I kind of want to use two berries is what I'm talking about here. Y'all didn't see me do that because I'm probably off camera. Sorry. I'm just I just keep on sticking and sticking. Okay. I need one more little thing right here. That I'm not gonna cut it. Let's put another leaf. Okay, I think we need one leaf right here, or I'm going all over the <laughs> place. Yeah, I see what I'm talking about. I'm sure you do. And I think it needs to be an orange one, so let's do. I'm so short, guys. I need about to add about five inches to my height. My height, I said, God, not my weight. My height, please. <laughs> not my width, dear Lord. <laughs> Had to clarify that for just a second. I don't want to cover up my sunflowers. I'm going to. Oh, all right. Hold on a minute, guys. Let me turn that around just to me just a second. Let's get that back on real quick. There we go. Okay. And okay. I have a 
different plan. Yes, no, it's okay. I'm going to put that under the pumpkin so that the sunflower just kind of peeks out. And then we're going to use our one berry right there. Yeah. Okay. What are we thinking? I think that is good. I think if I don't stop, then it's going to be too much. What do y'all think? I think I need one more leaf right here. What you think? I bet it was beautiful. Oh yeah, we're gonna add our bow. That is almost there. We are almost there. I like it. Okay, so now, there's my so word, people. <laughs> I think we're gonna call that done for right now. So let's move it over. Let's actually take this off here. Clean up just a second. Put our little things in here. Cool guys, we almost used every bit of that. That's what I wanted, yay. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, now, there's all our trash. I wonder what that was. I don't know why I'm worried about it. You all know I always just throw it in the floor. <laughs> Here I am, but not trying to be clean. Trying to be clean. Okay. Now. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add our bow, but first we're going to do our bridging. So we're going to place our bow onto, did I move the camera somehow? I'm sorry, guys. Just a second here. I bet you I did hit it. Sorry. Okay. So we're going to place our bow just on the wreath where we think we want it to go. And then, let me turn towards me just a second. Then we're going to start our bridging because our bow should go on last. So I think our bow should go right here. Because we want our pumpkin to kind of be right here, kind of diagonal. So if we put our bow right here, then that is where, Marianne? Let me mark it. Okay, perfect. Let me put a little clip there so I know. Okay, okay. There's our bow. So now what we're going to do, we're going to grab our ribbon. You're going to unroll a ton of it. Well, not really a ton, but as much as you think you're going to need. You're going to grab a zip tie and put a zip tie in to hold your bow. Because we want our bridging to come from our bow. Okay? So, wherever you put your little pin, take a zip tie and just add another one and leave it open okay so see let me see can you see that see where the zip ties just open there just add your zip tie in whatever hole you want the top hole preferably and leave it open okay grab your ribbon do not take it off of the spool all right and just kind of squish it doesn't matter how you squish it just squish it and lay it in there Okay, give it enough to where it's not going to come out if you tug on it, which it's a zip tie. It's really not going to, all right? Decide whether you want this to go on top or if you want your orange to go on top. Do the same thing with your orange, okay? Sorry, I'm just putting my pins away there. Do not take it off the spool. Oh, looky there. A weird piece. <laughs> Okay, so same thing, just grab a piece of it. Decide whether you want it to go 
top or bottom, and lay it over your creation. Okay? And then close your zip tie over your pieces so that they just kind of stick down in there. Nobody's going to see this part, so it doesn't matter if you leave about, I've left about that much, that much ribbon, okay, in my zip tie, all right? Now, find where you'd like for them to stop. So all you do now is you think to yourself, well, gosh, it would look really pretty if it stopped. Maybe, I think that's too far. Although it'd be beautiful if it could come that far. That's a lot of ribbon, see? I think that's too much. So it kind of needs to stop about right here. So just kind of, you know, I like to bend it a little bit. So I can get a look for it. This is not the best, this orange is not the best ribbon. Bend it and put it down there and just place it and like the way you want it to look. I kind of like it like that. Does that look normal? What do you guys think about it right there? I know I can take this one. Also, I'm so short. <laughs> about right there as well. Let's see what it looks like. What do you think? Good placement so far? And look, our bow's right here. Mm-hmm. And so our wreath would look like, would hang like this. Okay. Do you like that placement? Yeah? Okay. Well, hi, Miss Kelleter. No problem. No problem. Okay, so now mark this. I'm oh, sorry, I was a bit tired in my mouth. That how about Marion? <laughs> mark this place as well. And this time, instead of using one zip tie, you're going to use two. Okay, so let's roll it around here. And you're going to use, see how I've squished it to mark it and make sure it's okay? So this time I'm going to use the bottom set right here. Is it not? For the orange. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Get in there, homie. Oh, there we go. Okay, here's our bottom set. Then we're going to take this ribbon. And we're just going to lay it all the way down in there. And close our zip tie. But before we close it, or before we push it down in there, and we're going to make sure it's perfect. If we need to pull out a little bit, we can. See, I think it needs a little more. Just so that's not so... All right, and you want them to kind of meet so that you don't look like you have major gaps in here, okay? And what I mean by meet is that they both kind of look, they both kind of touch, all right? Now, unless you're going to put like a sunflower or something here, you can always just put like, you know, you could always just do this if you wanted to, but, you know, put your your little deal there <clears throat> and close your zip tie. Just before you close it all the way, double check again. You know me. I'm super OCD. I'm going to have to check a couple times. There we go. I think I like it. All right. It is in there. It is not going anywhere. And if I don't like it, too late now. There it is. Okay, then take this, and this one's going to be hanging out, or we could do another, you know what, let's
let's do another and roll it down since we have this gap here. How's that going to look? Hold on, let me look at it. <laughs> Guys, me and my ribbon. All right. Good thing about this is that it's zip ties. If it doesn't work, you can always take it out. Let's do the other one before we decide what we're doing with this one. Let's roll this up a little bit. Turning it around, finding my placement here. And you don't have to do the same top here. You could go here with it if you wanted to. Make it look a little different if you'd like. You could even go here and do, you know, two more. You could make it bigger. You could make it smaller. I think I want to go right here. And then go right here. Yep. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So, let's put a zip tie right here. I just keep moving all over the place. Sorry, everybody. Well, that's all right. It's okay to do that. No worries. What did I say right here, right? <laughs> Can't remember what I said. Or was it right here? I think it was right here. Where we're putting pins and stuff. And then I was going... Here and here. Yep. Okay. Good. Just making sure. All right. Putting my zip tie in, doing the same thing I was before. Leaving it open, putting my ribbon in. Maybe kind of sort it in a way. Taking this ribbon out of here. Putting my other zip tie in the right hole. <laughs> okay. That one little curl is going to get on my nerves. Okay, quit messing with that, Marion. All right. Now we're going to move this one this way. Make sure we have enough to touch the bottom and it doesn't look bad. And we do. Closing our zip tie. Maybe. One day. Curls gonna kill me. Okay, I think that's perfect. We're gonna close this one all the way down. It's not stuck to the mesh. Okay, and we're gonna continue with this one here. So I'm going to put this one here where this crazy looking gap is. Remember how I told you not to worry about it? <laughs> this is why. We're going to leave this one up here for just a second. I'm going to finish with this one. So let's put a zip tie here where this gap is. Gap. Can't talk. And then, guys, we can put our bow on, and we are good. Well, we got to the other side, but you know what I mean. We're almost there. I know you guys are like, gosh, Marianne, come on. <laughs> are you ever going to get this done? Okay. 
I like it. Let's put it in here. Just give yourself enough ribbon to make it look pretty and make, doesn't make it look pushed or pulled or, you know, anything like that. There we go. That's perfect. Okay. And now let's cut us off a big, long piece. Maybe like here. If it's too long, we can always cut it off later. Dovetail it really quickly. Roll it up. And go to the next one. Okay. See, bridging is really kind of easy. It's just time consuming because you got to get it perfect. And Marianne's such a perfectionist. And I kind of think maybe that we stop with this one here and just let it curl this way. So, what do you guys think? You think we should? Cut this off and let it curl down here, or should we come here with it? What do you guys think? We should we can come here with it, but I think that might be a little much with our here's our bow. Put our bow back on here. Here's our bow, and here's what our bridging looks like so far. Do you think that would be too much if we come down here with it? And then what do you think? Too much, because now remember we've got some over here to go too. There won't be enough over here. Good night, Miss Bradley. Thank you for hanging out. I'm just bridging. I'll show you in just a minute, Miss Langsett, what we're doing. Just a second. So should I do it here or should I cut the ribbon off? You like it, Miss Hazen? Or is that too much? Because we can always cut it off here, you know. You know what? We can always go back in and add more if we need to, so I'm going to cut it off right here. And we're going to roll this up and start on our other side. We really don't want the whole wreath to be nothing but bridging. We want it to be about the pumpkin. So let's roll this up. And we kind of took care of our gap right there. Let's do that. And now let's do this side and throw our bow on and we'll be done. Now we're going to start on the bottom with this color since this is the color that's on the top over here, okay? So let's do this on the bottom. Let's move our bow again. We're almost ready. We're almost ready for it. So let's, let's put our, this goes on the outside. Again, we're gonna use our next hole this time. So we're gonna use the outside if I can find it. <laughs> or you can use the same one. Let's just use the same one. That way it doesn't look so, it's not so complicated. So the same hole you started with over here, just stick another zip tie in it if you want to. You could really technically, you know, well, I don't guess you could because you'd have to, anyway, scratch that part. Just put another zip tie in here. Same place we started from. See? I'll show you a close up here. See? Just put you another zip tie there. Okay. Here we go. Same principle. Put enough in there to where if you tug, it won't come out. This goes on the outside this time. Here's our other ribbon. It goes on the inside. And 
And this is going to be just one, well, we'll see. Making sure I've got it all in there before I close everything up. I didn't get a hold of the orange one. Sorry, y'all. Let's just do this again. That way I don't screw some up. All right. One more second. Put another zip tie in there. Because I didn't get enough of the orange in there. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Here we go. Let's try it again. Put your orange in there. Do it good right this time. Put your pumpkin in there. Close it up. Close it before I have a chance to move it. There we go. Okay. Now, let's see. We want this one to come straight down. So I say we bring this right here and let it go. And that's what we're going to do. And then we'll put this one right here and let it go. Yeah. Okay. So let's cut this right here. There's a lot of ribbon. <laughs> Maybe like right. Oh, we don't want it to be too long. So I'm just figuring out where to cut it here. Okay. There's that one done and done. Okay. Put in the zip tie exactly the way we did on the other side. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Sorry it's taken me forever in a day. Okay. There we go. Pull it down. Make sure you have enough and it doesn't look stretched. be a little much. Let's see. Oh no, that'll be perfect with all the... Okay, good. Going in here. Squish it up a little bit. And voila. that one. Let's dovetail the puppy. Not you, Stale. <clears throat> dovetail this baby. There's way too much left there, but that's okay. All right, let's Just dovetailing everybody. And we're just gonna roll it up. My new cameras are on the way, guys, so hopefully we'll be able to see better soon. And then we're gonna put this one here. And then move it out this way. And uh, you know what? We're gonna put it down a little further because put it here in between. Let's see where our bow is. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Last one, then we can put our bow on. Let me cut some of this off here. Yay!
dovetail it. Just dovetailing is all I'm doing. And rolling. Skip. So I'll just put that in the floor. Just put that anywhere, Marianne. It'll be all right. Oh, guys, this may look like a hot mess. I can't see over top of it. <laughs> okay. Put our bow right here where all this crazy stuff is. And then we, my friends, are finished. Finis. Done. Maybe if our if we like our floral arrangement down there, then we are done. Okay. There's that one. One pipe cleaner in. Number two, almost there. This is where you need darning needles, or whatever the needles are called. Isn't that what they're called, really, darning needles? I think that is. So you can get the darn thing in there? Is that what it's for? <laughs> if not, that's why they should be called darning needles. Hi, hi, hi. Come on. Come on, babies, come on. How long did you? All right, let's use a different one, a different hole. It's not gonna go in that one. So let's use let's use the outside of the board and the ring right there. It really doesn't matter which one you use, as long as you can get it on there. All right, and done. Ladies. Right spot, and it doesn't look squished. Okay, we are almost there. Get it back in there. I'm pretty sure. It came out. Aha! Yay! Okay, guys. For right now, I think that's going to be rocking. So let's make it look pretty. I know that it doesn't look crazy. And it kind of should probably. Can y'all see me? Probably not. <laughs> Just jerking on my bow a little bit, making it look pretty. There's our bridging here and our bridging here and our bow. Pulling out some of the bow stuff here. Y'all know me, this bow has to look perfect or I'm not happy. And I can't really even tell that it's in the right place. I need to grow. I need a step ladder is what I need really. <laughs> so I can stand above my projects. I need to get my craft room situated. There we go, that helped. Putting the mesh in the right place. That will always help, won't it? Okay, now. It's on there, and it's not going anywhere. But it may be crooked, I think it goes this way. For the time being, here is 
is what we have. And we're, what we're gonna do now is just pull out our bridging and put it wherever you'd like. So there's that part. And then you can pull this this way and let it hang here. Or just wherever I can't see on this part there. I pull out this bridging here and it can kind of hang down. And then you pull this one out, it will hang down, kind of like right there, maybe. All right, what do y'all think? Is it, can't see. <laughs> Here's what our hanging hole should technically be right here. Okay, I'm going to pull y'all up so you can actually see what it looks like. And then that way I can actually see what it looks like and we can go from there. Because I don't know what in the world it looks like. <laughs> I can't tell. I'm too short, people. So hang on just a second and um, I will pull you up and we will talk about it and fix whatever needs to be fixed. Because I think I like it too. Hang tight, here we go. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. I hope it's really pretty. It was my 4 a.m. florals. Oh. And I swear I can't do anything under two hours with y'all, can I? <laughs> Well, thanks everybody for the stars. I didn't even see y'all send them to me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Whomever sent them. Yay. All right, here we go. Pulling you back. Okay. Let me see. Whew. Gosh. All right. Let's see. Here's what it looks like if I hold it up like this. OMG. The bow needs a little work because it... It needs a piece of mesh underneath it. But here's kind of, here's kind of what it should. I love this. I love this part. What are we thinking? Do we like it? Let's see, where's this? This needs to go be a little more here. Yeah, what are we thinking? I think our bridging needs to come. Down a little bit here. You like it? But honestly, it's kind of easy, don't you think? It's just, that needs to come out. I see it's still, still working on it. <laughs> it's still a work in progress, guys. But look how easy that is. Look, how easy. I mean, you basically made 13 pieces of, you know, super easy. 13 pieces of mesh in your cuff fluffle okay every other hole see every other hole 13 pieces of mesh okay and then you stuck a piece a half a piece of uh, foam floral foam on your ring board and then you took your i will fix the curls and stuff too and take some pictures and then you um just put some ribbon in the zip tie super easy Y'all really like it? I'll work on it too. I like it. Thanks, everybody. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I try. I mean, I, I'm a talker anyway, so um, you know, helps. I just like to. I don't know. I'm a talker. So there we go. I'll take some pictures for y'all and make sure it's absolutely perfect. And it's the way that it should be. And, um, you know, also, I'm probably going to put this one on Etsy. So if you guys do floral tin, 
you'll get a 10% discount um, in my Etsy shop if you'd like to purchase this one as soon as I get it up there because you watch the live and you're purchasing it from the live. So floral 10 is your code. Um, it's made by Marianne, N-T-N, as in in Tennessee. Um, also, I'm on YouTube, so this replay will be available on YouTube just as soon as I can get it up there. Thanks again, everybody. Also, if you guys um, would love to join, I hope you guys would love to join us at Reef Work Forms and more. We're going to do all kinds of awesome things coming up for the fall, so I hope you guys will join us there. Any questions I can answer for y'all? I'm so glad you guys like it. I mean, here's my sunflower again. I hope it kind of compared. Let me go back. It kind of did compare. It's just the other one's a little more, this one's a little more wild at the bottom. I think they kind of did compare, don't you? Um, the bow's a little bigger. I might have to fix that. And then the boat's gonna definitely need a little, some work, but um, you are very welcome. Yeah, join us at Reef Work Forms and More. I'm a little late here. <laughs> join us at Reef Work Forms and More and come hang out with us. We got some awesome things coming up for the fall. Kelly's doing some awesome giveaways. You can get your picture as part of the banner too. We do that. Uh, she does that all the time. Nadia and Kelly work really hard to keep that place really awesome. Um, so we'd love to have you. Come on down, hang out with us. Also, um, if you'd give me a like and subscribe on YouTube, I'd love that too. Follow me here. Guys, I appreciate all of you guys. If you need anything from me, send me a message. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. God bless each and every one of you. Good night. Mwah. Tonight it was made by Marianne. Tomorrow it might be made by you. Good night, y'all. See you next week. Same time, same place.